Hello, morning, my dear loving children. Today we are going to learn a pros chapter three, two stories about flying. The story has two parts. So both the stories are very inspiring stories. First uh, story is named his first flight. Our book's name is also first flight. His first flight. Whose first flight? We'll see. And the second part, second chapter is the black aeroplane. These stories show that bravery and cowardice are the relative terms. One should not lose hope while in danger like the young seagull and the pilot of the plane. These are uh, the two characters in these two stories. Seagull in the first uh, part. The, we are going to learn about a pilot in the second part. They succeeded to achieve their aim when they tried hard to overcome with their fear. That is the theme of the chapter. So first story, his first flight. The characters are a family of seagulls, six members in the family of seagulls. Seagull is a bird. Usually, it goes to the other side of the sea and collects or catch the fish from the sea, come back and there nest is in a hall on the mountain sides. Their life is very risky. was to catch not like other there are so many trees and moving here and they have to fly across the sea or they have to they will get uh, food from the sea only to ca by catching fishes the main character here is the young the youngest seagull one who is unable to fly due to fear we will see in this whether this young seagull could able to fly or not. We also, some of us also are very fearful. We face some problems in the initial stage while learning new skills. It is due to the fear of failure. Due to the fear of failure, we hesitate to perform a task or to do something new. Here also we will find this uh, seagull. We must take a risk. Then only we can come up in our life. Got it? Come to the chapter. First chapter. This chapter. Two stories about flying is a combination of two inspiring stories. As I told you all earlier. First story is his first flight. Main character is young seagull, young bird. 
ஓகே இதை ஃபஸ்ட் ஸ்டோரி ஃபஸ்ட்டு பேராக்ராஃப் பிஃபோர் என்ட்ரிங் இன் டு த சர்ச் ஜஸ்ட் இன்ட்ரோடக்டரி பார்ட் வில் கோ த்ரூ சின்ஸ் தி ஏலியஸ்ட் டைம்ஸ் ஹியூமன்ஸ் ஹாவ் ட்ரம்ட் ஆஃப் கான்கரிங் த ஸ்கீஸ் people wanted to reach in the sky here are two stories about flying a seagull is afraid to fly how does he conquer his fear second story a pilot is lost in storm clouds does he arrive safe who helps him his first flight first story is written by liam or fly and to the second one black aeroplane is written by frederick forsyth let us begin the young seagull was alone on his ledge seagull a long winged web footed sea bird ledge what is a ledge it's a narrow horizontal shelf projecting from a wall here we are talking about mountain cliff the side of the mountain near the sea his two brothers and his sister the seagull has two brothers and a sister had already flown away the day before they all knew how to fly he had been afraid to fly with them but he did not go with them as he was afraid to fly somehow when he had taken a little turn, little run forward to the brink of the ledge that means his nest just uh, uh, in a narrow shelf near the building or oh, near the mountain there is a hall there he just reached there after that he could not fly somehow when he had taken a little run forward to the brink of the ledge side of the edge of the ledge and attempted to flap his wings moved his wings but he could not he became afraid the great expanse of sea stretched down beneath why he was so afraid down the sea was to see was stretched down and it was such a long way down and when he looked down it was so deep miles down he felt certain that his wings would never support him so he bent his head and ran away back to the little hall under the ledge where he slept at night day time also complete whole day he was sleeping over there but his parents two brothers and his sister everybody was out everybody tried to take this young seagull with them but he could not go because of the fear he felt certain that he was sure that his his wings would never support him so he bent his head and ran away back to the little hall he did not come out he slept there where he used to sleep at night at day time also he used to sleep there just looking out sometimes and watched his brothers and sister even when each of his brothers and his little sister whose wings were far shorter than his own ran to the brink flapped their wings and flew away but uh, he did not have that courage though his brothers and sister had s- small wings their wings were far shorter than his own but they flew away with of confidence but this one younger one failed to muster up a courage muster up 
gather bring together courage to take that plunge plunge means to dive quickly you can see how the birds small birds fly above the sea plunge dive quickly and energetically which appeared to him so desperate his father and mother had come around calling to him shrilly loudly and forcefully come come with us they used to call this young one shouting at him to come and fly with them upbraiding him upbraiding means scolding threatening to let him starve on his ledge until unless he flew away and threatened also unless and until he comes out he will not get any food to live will die will starve without food he has to spend the day but for the life of him he could not move for the life of him but this young seagull did not move from there as he was afraid next chapter that was 24 hours ago since then nobody had come near him 24 hours is over nobody came back to call him again and again since then nobody had come near him the day before all day long he had watched his parents flying about with his brothers and sister perfecting them in the art of flight teaching them how to skim the waves and how to dive for fish parents taught uh, his brothers and sister the perfect way of flying taught them how to skim skim means to move lightly just above the surface and to catch the fish his parents taught the other, other three children he used to watch all these from his sledge how to skim the waves how to save themselves from the waves huge waves and how to dive for fish he had in fact seen his older brother catch his first herring herring is soft finned sea fish and devour it poor seagull so his brothers catching the fish and eating filling their stomach devour eat greedily and hungrily herring herring is a kind of fish sea fish he had in fact seen his older brother catch his first herring and devour it standing on a rock while his parents circled around raising a proud cackle his parents were they are all around the, their children parents also moved around circled around raising a proud cackle cackle means their laughing sound in a loud way that the children are able to catch the fish and able to fly in such a way and all the morning the whole family had walked about on the big plateau midway down the opposite cliff taunting him with his quadays taunting him to provoke him in an insulting or a contemptuous way oh, is it like this scolded this younger one all the morning the whole family had walked about on the big plateau plateau is the level high land on the other side of the mountain down the opposite cliff cliff means a steep rock face at the edge of the sea taunting him provoking making this younger feel sad Uh, sit like this you are not going to eat anything get anything 
will not get any food for the whole day or next day if you don't eat net if you don't come out the taste has a cowardice cowardice means lacking courage the sun was now ascending the sky blazing on his ledge that faced the south the sun was now ascending the sky ascending coming up blazing on his ledge sunlight reached on the ledge that faced the south he felt the heat because he had not eaten since the previous night of all he felt so tired as the young seagull felt so uh, hungry because he had an ed food the last previous day also mother did not bring any food for him he stepped slowly out to the brink of the ledge what to do he tried he came to the brink edge of the ledge to fly and standing on one leg with the other leg hidden under his wing he closed one eye then the other and pretended to be falling asleep he wanted to come out he tried by closing his eyes lifted one leg up and tried this is enough for today so just to conclude the story is about a family of seagulls there was a young child in the family who was unable to fly even after several tries the story highlights the importance of family and friends in one's life it also gives the message that one needs to believe in self to overcome all the hurdles of own life this family consists of six seagulls mother father three sons and one daughter all of them except the youngest son are expert in flying high his parents have tried several times to teach him how to fly but he is scared to do that and does not want to try any more he relies on the food that his parents bring back from their flights the youngest son is youngest one could not do in the beginning afraid of flying as he thinks that if he flies his wings would not support him and he would fall down in the sea below and drown even his parents have rebuked him they even threatened him by telling him if he doesn't fly he would die of hunger but he does not try after so many failed attempts his parents left him alone on the rock without food they even taunted him for his cowardice poor seagull looks at his brothers and sister enjoying swimming diving in the sea water for fish to feed themselves but no one comes near him to offer food clear read read the chapter thoroughly and understand it have a nice day stay safe and healthy okay thank you